Hello, it's Jill Smith, Aussie author, and I'm reading some reviews um, on YouTube, so I hope you enjoy these. But today I thought I'd start with uh, talking about the author. Karen Foxley has written Ophelia and the Most Marvellous Boy and A Most Magical Girl and Benny's Book of Everything. And these are young adults books and they're absolutely fabulous. When I was at Somerset um, a few years ago, I met uh, and saw Karen at uh, one of the talks there and she described how she went through a museum and the idea for this book came up because she went through this museum with no one around her and she saw a room that had a sign saying, do not enter. Well, being that uh, she was a curious person, she slipped the door open and had a peek in and she saw a body on a slab. And that really gave her an idea that uh, clicked into place what she might do something there with the story. But this book, I just happen to love the way Karen Foxley writes. She's absolutely wonderful. And I'll read you my review of Ophelia and the Marvellous Boy by Karen Foxley. And I actually gave this five stars on Goodreads, which I hardly ever do. I often give four, re four stars, but hardly ever five. So... I really love this book and I really love her style of writing. So this is a story within a story that begins with a boy. He'd been chosen by the protectorate of wizards of the east, west and middle to go on a journey to save the world by finding his magical sword, the other one, and defeat the Snow Queen. So that's his three tasks. He's got to find the magical sword, find one other, and defeat the Snow Queen. Ophelia wasn't brave. She was a member of the Children's Science Society of Greater London. She didn't believe in magic, ghosts or monsters. Those were things that her mother wrote about in her stories. It was more than three months since her mother had died. Her father had taken her and her older sister Alice to a museum far from their home. As he was an export in, expert in swords, and the curator of the museum was putting on a sword exhibition in three days. He had hoped it would be a holiday for his daughters, but the would be, he would be pre busy preparing for the display. So it took up a lot of his time. Alice found the museum boring. Ophelia set off to explore all the levels of the huge building. She was a curious person and was surprised to find behind a room with paintings of a boy in an old-fashioned clothes holding an old-looking sword with an eye on it behind a small stage, a room with a golden keyhole. When she put her eye to the keyhole, she was stunned to find an eye looking back at her. Ophelia met the marvellous boy and discovered he was locked in. He asked her to help him. He told her about the winter tide clock and asked her to find some keys. She didn't know whether to, she should help him, but when he explained the wizards had taken his name and that he only ate porridge and he only had a jailer to talk to, she thought about it. The trouble with magic is that it's messy, not orderly or scientific. Boy, the boy told her about his journey, about the wizards and the herald tree, and that she would find the first key on level seven. Of course, she couldn't save the world. She was only 11 and small for her age. After seeing the misery birds, she started to believe in monsters. Then the boy asked her to get another key on level six, and he warned her about the ghosts. One of the ghosts wanted to help her, her mother started whispering to her in her ear, be brave. I love the way Karen has woven the story of loss and family learning, how to cope, expressing sorrow to move forward into the tale. The boy is Ophelia's friend and even when the Snow Queen is at the point of turning all the world into ice, snow and winter, she never gives up. She finds the boy again uses the sword, finds her father fights to save his family and the boy fades, he returns to his kingdom. 
This is a most marvellous book. I love it and will treasure it and reread it again and again. I've already read it, read it twice. This is a really lovely book and a lovely way of writing tales by a wonderful author. So please look up Karen Foxley. She is a marvellous, um, entertaining writer. And as I said, there's two more reviews I will read to you over the next couple of days. But I hope you enjoy Karen Foxley's Ophelia and the Marvellous Boy. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And look up Jill Smith, Aussie author. I will have more reviews and things on um, my YouTube site and also on my blog. So um, look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. Please post comment if you like what I've done and uh, I'd love to hear back from you. Thanks very much for your time. Bye.